Hey folks, it's Brian here, and I'm going to be working on my F-350 rescue rebuild project. Uh, so today, what I'm going to be doing, uh, we keep having storms here in Houston, and it keeps blowing this plastic out. So I'm going to work on putting the window back in. Um, this is just a cluster, but that's what I'm going to work on today is getting the window in because, yeah, it just likes to rain inside the truck. So... Before we do that, it would be a good idea to clean this window. So let me get this set up and we'll get this thing cleaned up. All right, so I'm gonna use just a scraper blade to get this adhesive off here. So far it looks pretty good. Let me get a paper towel for it. Be careful not to go back and forth or that way when you're wiping the blade. This is OEM glass, car white. So I'm using Sprayway cleaner. This is an excellent glass cleaner, and I'm flooding it because I, A, I have a ton of it, and B, it'll get the rest of this crap off. paper towel and another light coat. This is Gorilla Tape, that's my fault. But it's nice and warm, so it's coming right off. Yeah, I think the seatbelt safe live sticker.
This would be a good time to tint this, but I'm not that skilled. And that's not on today's agenda. But gosh, that's pretty darn clean. That's still on the back side. Change gloves, go take a piece of gut on my gloves off here. Alright, so it's looking pretty good, but I got a little bit of stuff on the sides that I want to deal with. Um, I'm not worried about the window tracks that are in the truck, but they need to be they all need to be replaced. All that stuff's worn out. And I don't want adhesive sticking around to gum up new ones they're actually kind of expensive. It's like $200 to replace all the door rubber. the door the entire time you're trying to have it open and I've got the bus in my way I just, I'm a little space constrained so I'm using a strap to hold the door open put that around there come back and hinges are just fine and you can just pull that open fold it it's not putting a ton of pressure on there it's just enough to keep that open so that's going to get us through that. Now let's undo this and dispose of the water.
let me uh, go change gloves because I've got adhesive all over these and we'll be back in a minute. All right, so first things first, this is going to be in my way. So let's lower it down. Um, taking it out is not really an option. We, we could take this out, but it's not necessary at this moment. So we're just going to set it there. I'm going to put some gloves on. Window regular, the I'm going to need a headlamp too and a flashlight. I'll be right back. Alright, so you can see what we're dealing with here is... Worn the hell out. Broken. Alright, so we'll just toss that in the corner. Oh, there's a bolt down here that needs to come out where there should be a rivet. Search and see what that actually amounts to. Okay, so it is this, 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 and probably that. Quarter 
20 half inch screws with lock nuts for the win. Because these are going to be difficult enough to tighten as it is. Now, you can use screws or whatever it is you happen to have handy. I just happen to have this in my personal hardware collection, so this is what's getting used. And I think that'll be fine. I don't think it takes a whole lot of work. I think it's going to be a giant pain in the ass to get all these bolts in. And now for another fun game, which wire does what? I don't need any surprises while my finger hands are in here. dissimilar metals, but I think what I have on hand is uh, regular galvanized lock nuts, of quality origin, and Chinese stainless steel um, metric cap, or quarter 20 cap screws. 
I like quarter 20 crap scooters. finicky as Torx. Alright, and of course my carpal tunnel's arcing up. hard for me to do things with my hands. Alright, so let's double check that nothing has broken since we last tested it. Ooh, well, the other one's bad too. Great. of nothing. Right. Might have a bad switch too, but definitely have a bad regulator motor over there. So, now for the fun part. We need to undo this, whatever the hell size this is. It's an exact fit for 11 millimeter. Uh, I don't think I have a socket out here. I don't think I have a ratchet out here. Let me go get that. I'll be right back. So this holds this front window track in place. And by loosening it, I'm probably going to ensure myself a whole lot of pain in the ass. But just going to take that out. Let's see how far back that allows. Yeah, I don't think that does much, so I'm going to leave the bolt in there. It's harder to lose that way. All right, let me change gloves and uh, we'll try again with the front window. All right, so, now for the fun part. How does it go in? The question is how the hell did it get out? wiggle room at the bottom.
need to see the back track. Alright, so there's another bolt here that I think if we loosen this it will give us a little more play. Loosen this up and see if we can adjust it. Let me get some loop. So I will link to these bolts and nuts. Um, I like to use super lube. Uh, it is a Teflon grease. It's clear, so it doesn't it doesn't show up when it gets into things. But I think this is going to substantially improve the performance of this. So let's see. Right. I don't think we're getting enough super lube in there. So I'm going to put on a glove and finger some more in. So I'm not too worried. Alright, and then there's one other place I want some, some grease.
improvement. So let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we need to deal with this while we have panel off. And the first step in this is to figure out what this bolt is in here and get rid of it. So let's see if this fits on it first. piece of shit. So we'll hang on to the bolt because we don't have the replacement part at this point. And that's all we can do for now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.